Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the channel, taking the bath and the bathroom is on the place where you can place your guys in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. So, I'm on the webcam today and I'm not using the Yeti. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you know that I usually use two setups when I'm going live, when I'm doing editing. Uh, but today, I decided to use the, the headphones or whatever, that the product review that we got from the company to see if I can get the audio better. If I can get the audio better on here, all right? So, Couple of things. We're live on Facebook and YouTube. Look, I know you guys can be doing other things with your time, but I always try to be responsive. First of all, guys, let me know if you can hear me clearly with this headset on. This is my first time using it um, live. I usually use the Yeti mic, but again, whenever we're using this setup and not the main setup, we have some, I ain't going to say audio issues, but whenever I'm moving around with the Yeti mic, like if I'm working right here, on on the monitors and stuff you guys can't hear me uh i mean you can hear me but when i go back and watch the videos it's just not as crisp and as clear as i want it to be so we're gonna try this all right guys enough talking let's jump right into it so the first thing i want to do is just thank you uh thank you my brother jeremy young jermaine young i'm sorry uh jump right into it i want to show you guys the site so people was asking you know hey look they Thank you, John. That was like, um, hey, look, man, I've been to the site, but well, two issues. I'm going to show you. That way I don't repeat myself. So let's go ahead and share the screen right here. So I want to share my screen. Now, when I start sharing the screen, because I don't have dual monitors on the laptop, now when I share my screen, when we when we over here, I can see the comments. But when we're on the laptop, I cannot see your comments. All right. So I'm going to share the screen. So if you comment while I'm sharing the screen, guys, I will not see you. Well, I guess I can pick up my phone and see if somebody left a comment. So the first thing is, is basically uh, I want to share my windows. And I want to share the entire screen. It's how to type it. So let's go ahead and go here. So we want to go right here. Now, for some reason on the phone, you type www dot or kings remember everything is lowercase if you put a capital letter k it might not bring you there for kings.com all right www.fourkings.com now when some people type that um it brings them to an error all right so i don't want to i don't want to leave this site because we're live so we don't want to leave the site it's going to kick me out of screen yards so let me create another tab where i can show you guys and open the tab up where you guys can see all right just be patient with me so when you click when you type in four kings www dot four kings my big fat hands keep on hitting the dog on buttons Because we're on the laptop, everything is small. It's just a, a a minor adjustment, guys. We get there, no problem. It's nothing big. It's not the end of the world. So some people was typing 14 www.fourkingcbd.com, and what was happening was they was um getting the error message, right? So just type in four kings cbd.com without the www is going to bring you there you're going to get to the edge verification page to verify that you're 21 or older but again if you again it's not everybody but some people on their mobile device if they try to type in www.fourkingcbd.com you get brought to this error so just type in fourkingscbd.com our lowercase is going to bring you directly to the page. Now, why it does that, I don't know. Let me try and make sure that the spelling was correct. Working www dot. It's a touch screen too, so each time my fingers touch the the screen of the laptop, <laughs> it messes everything up. But hey, bro, the beauty of going live. So www dot four kings cbd.com whatever reason man it doesn't bring you that when you add the ww dot so a simple fix is just put four kings and we're working on that four kings 
www.4kings.com. So don't add the www. Just put 4kings.com. And let me make sure I got an S on there. Got to be spelled correctly. Got to be all lowercase. Dot com. And it's going to bring you to the site. All right. Now, when you own the site, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of when you own the site. Let's go ahead and stop sharing right quick. We're going to load up the site. I'm just peeking in the chats right quick while we load that up in the background. Here you good in Tennessee. Tennessee in the house. All right. So let's go back to our um, fork CBD and load it up. I got to go back and share the screen too. You guys can see the landing page. Again, it's 4 kingscbdcom for numeric number four cbd.com so once you type that in it's going to bring you there let's go ahead and share the screen again all right i'm about to lose the comments for a little while guys i'll be back let's just go ahead and share the screen all right and let's jump right into the website are we sharing all right we're sharing here into the website make sure you select that you're 21 or older okay and these right here are just some pictures at the top that's the first thing you come down right here you're going to see um our mission again we just launched this is what you call a soft launch we haven't added all of the products and we haven't put all the text in but this is just to give you an idea so the purpose of this live right here guys and i'm just checking facebook to see if we're live and to make sure nobody have any questions on Facebook. I often neglect Facebook whenever I go live because I usually go live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So I just want to make sure that no one have any comments on Facebook. All right. So, yeah. You come to the site. You see our mission, what we're about. The main thing is teaching people, right, the beauty and the healing properties of cannabinoids. So this is our website. Now. I'm going to do tons of videos just on our website. I wanted to show you how to get there. Don't put the www dot. Just put numeric number four, kings, K-I-N-G-S dot com. All lowercase. It's going to bring you right here. So when you get to the site, what it is you're looking for. So most people ask me, all right, I, I have this ailment. I have this pain. Now, some people be like, well, you know, I just have anxiety. I need something for sleep. So what I'm going to do, again, we're going to do tons of video like this, but just for this video, I showed you how to get here. I'm going to give you a recommendation that I think will help people, chronic, people that have chronic pains, right? And the same product would be good for sleep and the same product would be good for anxiety, right? And to change the mood. It's all about the amount you use. So we have tons and tons of products that do different things, affect people different ways. But if you was coming to me today, right now, let's say you had a knee pain, you had knee pain, shoulder pains or whatever, information in your arm or whatever pain you're in, okay, I would recommend this right here. The Supernova Gummies, click on that, and we have a click view, a quick view, excuse me. When you click on it, it gives you a write-up about it, okay? And it give you options. So I would say, let me come down here. So the soup, supernova gummies, I'm gonna tell you exactly which one to get. And the CBD infused dry tea. Those are the two items we're going to look at today. We have many more items, but those are the two items we're gonna look at right quick. I'm not gonna be up here long. Um, thank God we uh, move our third son out. Brought him to UNO today. Moved him in. So we have. Uh, Three of our boys and one of our daughters off in school. We have two remaining. One is a senior and the other is just going to elementary. So he's going to be with us for a while. He's 11. So when you come right here, the gummies, quick little write up. Then you want to click on the icon itself. It's going to bring it directly to the page. And you come down right here. So we have all kinds of flavors, but we have different um, cannabinoids, excuse me. And this is why I'm here to explain this to you today. So you see you have blackberry, you have Delta 9 behind there. Then you have watermelon, you have T-A-C-O and Delta 8. I'm going to explain that on another day. You have mixed berries, H-H-C. So H-A-C, T-A-C-O, 
and Delta 9 are all forms of cannabinoids, and Delta 8 is all forms of cannabinoids. And whenever you see CBD full spectrum, that simply means that it has every last cannabinoid. They just took the whole plant and they put it in, in, that, in that item, okay? So we also have watermelon, TACO, and Delta 8. So it's either or. You can get TACO, which is stronger than Delta 8, or Delta 8. You also have pineapple, um, mango, HAC. Now,
got unplugged some kind of way. So I've been talking up a screen and I, let me see, and y'all wasn't able to hear me. I want to have your baby taking the bathroom. Please, just one. Strength and sharing. Always, always going to have those that pop up in here, man. Always going to have those. So if I got in the minds on, y'all know what to do with them. All right, guys. So let me go back. You guys said you couldn't hear me. So let me go back and see if I can share that again. And show you, if you're looking for pain relief, you come right here to our website, 4kingcbd.com. And again, we have many things for pain relief, but you come right here. And I'm recommending, if you don't know where to start, this is one of my recommendations. I'm going to do this many, many times over. Eventually, we're going to go through all of the products. We're going to be ordering new products. If you're coming to the site and you have issues with pain, you want to click, make sure that you're not a minor. All right. We have all kinds of products. Now, this is different bioavailability methods. I use the flower because it gets into the blood screen faster because it crosses the blood brain barrier faster. So when I'm smoking a flower, I'm getting those healing benefits immediately. That that information and stuff begins to settle down. And again, if I'm smoking, if I feel like I'm good, I can put it out. I don't have to smoke the whole thing. You take a gummy, you really got to dose it just right, okay? And you want to be consistent. No matter if you're using the 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 CBD soft gels, the flour, the gummies, you want to be consistent. Okay, so your issue is you have trouble sleeping, you have trouble relaxing, right? And you have pain. We have many products that will take care of all of that, but I'm recommending if you just wanted one product to get started with, I would recommend either one of our Delta 8 products, okay? Come to the Supernova Gummies. You see all of the different flavors we have and the different um, TAC, I mean, the different cannabinoids. So TACO, Delta 8, HAC, those letters behind there are simply cannabinoids, okay? And what you want to do, guys, you want to go and I already chose mine. And is that what you guys didn't hear? You want to choose the, the cannabinoid option and come right down here to that. Uh, what I told you guys, that peach or uh, pineapple, mango. Come right here to the pineapple mango. Now, this is 25 milligram CBD, 25 milligram CBD. Again, the HAC is the cannabinoid in there, but I'm looking for the uh, HAC. And Delta 8. So you got the watermelon, all right? So the watermelon is 20 milligrams, and that's Delta 8. And the TACO is 30 milligrams. So we're going to hit that watermelon. Okay. And we're going to hit, we're going to hit add. We add it to the cart. Now we want to go to view cart. And make sure you have the right amount. Because you see you got two right here. I want to just minimize or minus one. I want to update my cart. You're going to see the price up here is going to change. I'm going to come down here. All right. I'm going to pick my shipping. Proceed to checkout. Okay. And, and this is what you're going to get. Okay. You're going to get the Supernova, Exotic, Cannabinoid, Watermelon, 20 milligrams, TACO, and 30 milligrams of Delta 8. All right. So these gummies have TACO and they have Delta 8 in these gummies. I recommend it. I don't know why each time I change my doggone screen to share, it cuts off my mic. So you guys not hear what I'm saying. I apologize. But hopefully you're getting a visual of what it is you need to buy for pain to start off with our um, gummies. Start right there. If you don't know, if you don't know where to start on the site, start right there with the gummies if you need pain or sleep relief. Start with our um, Delta 8. And what I just showed you was um, a decided gummy. It had HACO in there and Delta 8, I believe. 
Start off with half of the gummies and then proceed, guys. I'm going to do many, many, many more videos. Again, when I'm using this setup, I think it's going to be better using this setup instead of using uh, our big rig for our uh, in our studio. Just jump right here to the little laptop. I can just do quick little hot videos. I got to figure out why my sound keeps turning off each time I share my screen. I don't understand why it would cut my mic off when I share my screen. So I guess I got to share. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let me put share my screen and let me put share my audio system. And then let's see if you guys still can hear me. All right. So I'm going to share my audio system. Now, when I leave this page, uh, you guys might not hear me, but let's see. So let's go back here. Let's go to 14 CBD. .com. All right. Type it in. Workings. CBD. .com. Again, earlier I showed you guys that you put the www in there. Sometimes it doesn't bring you to verify your age. If you're looking for pain relief, you come right here or all the way down. Again, we have many, 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 many product products. Let me make sure my mic is on. All right, so look like that's it. Look like that what it, that what it was. My mic is my mic on? Is my mic on? I'm guessing my mic is on. So you come down here. We have many products, but like I was trying to say in this video, again, new rig. We're gonna figure it out. New time using the headset. We're gonna figure it out. Hopefully, my volume is on right now. But even if my volume is not on, we're doing it over and over again so you guys can see where I'm taking you. So you come right here. We have Delta 8, Delta 9, TAC, HAC gummies. Come right here, click the gummies, or you could just click on the quick view. You could get like, you know, a little synopsis on the on the um product. Again, if you're looking for pain relief, you're looking for a sleep or relax, many, many products. But people was telling me, hey, I've been to the site. I really don't know where to get started. I'm telling you, if you want to get started, let's get started right here. All right, for pain relief, relaxation, right, or sleep, anxiety and stuff right there. Many, many products, but we're starting here. I'm planning on doing many, many more videos to show you or give you my recommendation. So I recommend uh, that you get our um, Delta 8, either Delta 8 and TACO or Delta 8 and uh Delta 8 and HAC, or just Delta 8 by itself. So come right here to your cannabinoid. Come right here to your options. I want you to go down. See, like, you can pick pineapple, right? CBD pineapple, you can pick that, okay? But I want you to come right here, and I want you to pick the pineapple, um, I mean, a watermelon with 20 milligrams of TACO and 30 milligrams of Delta 8. Click that one right there. Add it to your cart. And when you get it, guys, take half of it, right? Be in a comfortable place, take half of it. Do not take a whole gummy if you don't have experience with cannabinoids. That's how people have bad experiences because they don't dose their stuff right. It's just like cooking. You can always add more seasoning, but it's hard to take it away once you put it in the food. So once you got add to add it to cart, you go right here to the top of the page. You can hit the view cart or you can come right here to this little bag and hit checkout. So you're going to hit checkout. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, why is saying $49 if it's only $20? So one of the things you want to do, you want to always make sure that you check your cart. So I'm going to go right here. I want to check my cart, double check my cart, come up here to my cart. I see that I have two items in here. And basically what I just did, I just had the same item twice. Why? Because I was doing the demonstration earlier. Hit update your cart. It's going to change that price from $49 to $24. You come down, you put in all your information and stuff. You hit proceed to checkout. Um, going to ask you for your street address and stuff like that phone numbers and stuff you come down you hit place order after you hit place order guys it's going to ask you for your credit card information and then you put in your credit card information you hit pay you're going to see receive a confirmation email so if you're looking to get started and you don't know what it is you want to buy first on our site i suggest the cbd um, infused tea and i suggest for pain sleep and re relaxation again we have many many products but just to get started i recommend those watermelon gummies delta a gummies um uh, and tac um gummies i recommend those for you guys to get started again simple process four kings the number four cbd.com just go 
look on the website. If there's a problem, just go to the contact, send us uh, either an email, right, or send us a text at 985-387-8082, okay, or email, and let us know, guys. So if you don't know where to get started, I recommend getting started with one of our gummies. My recommendation is the one that I just showed you just to get started. But we have many, many, many more products that you guys um, should be able to learn as I educate you. So that's how you get started. That's how you get to the site. We're going to be doing tons and tons and tons of more videos. So if you got a question, man, go ahead and ask me right now. I'm about to have one of my um, sessions, so I'm about to roll up right quick. Go out there, have a session, get ready for the game, man, and just relax. Just relax, bro. It's going to be awesome to be able to um, share our new products with everybody. I ain't going to stop, guys. I'm going to be popping up periodically live. Just going to the site and sharing information, making sure that you guys have all the information that, that you need. Now, before I leave, share my story for those that's watching live on the replay. How I got involved into this seven months ago. Uh, well, well, over seven months ago, all right? I'm going to say about, let's go all the way about a year ago. I began to experience some medical problems, okay? Oh, we got some new flower in too. I began to experience some medical problems. And I went to the doctor, by Marley, hemp wrap. These hemp wraps are good. It's kind of retro looking. Uh... These are really, really good. I don't know if they just came out or not, bro. But if you look right here, you see in the back, it says squeeze to activate. They have some uh, terpenes up in here. So this is raw, raw, I mean, this is cookies, I meant to say. Um, King Pound wrap cookies. And they have a little filter that's terpene infused. You just squeeze it out, whatever. This is the world's first King Pound wrap by Marley Wraps. Again, when you start to get into this space, man, you need to know, all right, if if you're looking to have a better experience, I don't use tobacco products that often, but when I do use them, I use one of these wraps right here. Um, this is a cognac cognac wrap. I use it because it's self sealing. It's easy to roll. Or I mean, and they make different. They make different. Um, they make different flavors and stuff. Or I use one of these camel, which is a hemp wrap. So mostly I'm using hemp wraps, but because I'm not a tobacco fan, but if I do do tobacco, a tobacco leaf is going to be one of these because they're easier to do. But like I said, I'm about, I'm about to go do a session. Roll up right quick. If you guys got any questions, let me know. I'm going to go back to the, to the website just to show you guys some other stuff. So let me start sharing my, let me start sharing my screen. Okay. Share it. All right. Let me make sure that my audio don't cut off. Share system audio. All right. Share. And we're going to go back to the website. And we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill here. Say, be careful. All right. Got it. All right. Got it. So, boom. So, we back up in here. Again. If you're looking to get started on our site, only thing you have to do is go to Four Kings, number four, kingcbd.com. All right. Prove, you know, select that you're 21. You know, confirm that you're 21 is going to allow you into the site. This is how the site looks. We have vapes. We have pre rolls. Pre rolls are good. Like, I'm about to roll up. Pre rolls are good for like older people that might have anxiety. I mean, anxiety might have arthritis um, that. You know that they might be using for pain. Another story. Um, I know I started off telling my story, but another story is that um, my dad had diabetes really, really bad. Okay, and that's part of my story too. It runs in the family, and he has two two of his toes has been amputated. Amputated. All right. Now, usually throughout the year, he usually have one or two bouts with cellulitis, and he usually have to. Sometimes you can pull these hemp hemp wraps apart, and you go from having one to having two. Just be careful. All right, that's that's a, that's a trick to scratch it out. And he used to um every year he had one or two bouts where he catch cellulitis, like an infection in his legs. 
and they put him on pain pills and routine you get put on the pain pills he end up getting stopped up he got to get an enema sometimes you got to go to the emergency room you know because the pain medicine stops him up it doesn't even come whenever the doctors put him on pain medicine and stuff and now they got to monitor his kidneys and all of that all these different uh internal organs functions because he's on so many medications right so i started giving my daddy the gummies for pain relief okay my dad's a pastor you guys know my story i'm also an elder and church of god in christ my dad's a pastor in the church of god in christ so it it was an up here battle with a lot of people in my social network a lot of people in my social network it was an up here battle because i mainly um i mainly worked in the community with you know uh preachers and politicians and so it was kind of a shock to everybody because of the stigma and explaining to people the difference between hemp derived products and you know what is considered to be illegal nowadays and showing them the difference and even if um even if delta 9 wasn't legal i still think that it for medicinal purposes I, I still think in louisiana it's legal for medicinal purpose but if it was legal for recreational purpose i still think people that use products like our products and other products i still think a high percentage of them are self-medicating something again i can't speak to you if you use these products or other pro products for recreational um usage now we might get some experts on there later on down the line right now i'm just being it's four of us i'm just being transparent on how i started using the products when i started using the products why i started using the products and how the products work for me and i use them medicinally so i'm not going to have a lot of recreational stores so you're like hey man i just want to chill at a party you know what to smoke what gummy to eat what cream to put on or whatever but if you, i probably don't have a lot for you there uh, we're building a community so other people that had those experience might be, be able to answer that but my experience is that if you use any one of these products right here whether it's the flowers whether it's the vape uh whether it's the cream whether it's the gel castles whether it's the tea uh whether it's the the uh, bath salts right whether it's the bomb that's rub on pain if you use any one of these items guys you just know exactly what you're using it for so if you're using it for pain, then you got to be consistent. Then you got to know the duration, how long it's going to take the product to work. It's just like any other medicine, bro. And I tell people, like, when you go to the doctor, when I figure I put on metformin, it's like, give it a couple of days. When you start taking it, it's going to mess up your stomach, right? Gee, man, it messed up my stomach every day I took it. <laughs> so I don't think my body ever got completely used to it. So I give my daddy the gummies and stuff, and it, it, you know, that helped him with the constipation. And so now my daddy used gummies for pain most of the time. Uh, also, my mom showed the issues, give her some gummies and stuff. She uses for energy. Again, she got a different type of gummy. She got the she got the TAC free gummies that's only five milligrams, and she take two or three of those a day just for energy. It's the application of the product. It's the cannabinoid, and it's what you what you're trying to do with it. Purpose of this video, if you just need pain and you come to the website for Kings, the number four, kingcbd.com, all lowercase, all right? If you come to the website and you don't know what to buy, but you just know you're in pain or you know that you can't sleep and you're looking at all of these products, you're like, I don't know the different cannabinoids, don't worry, we got you. I'm going to do many videos like this explaining it to you. But if you want to get started, I recommend you come right here to our Supernova, our Supernova section, right, with our gummies. And I recommend that you start off with these gummies right here again you can see we have many flavors but come all the way down to um uh, the cannabinoid and choose an option come down and i want you to start off with the watermelon the 20 milligram taco and 30 milligrams delta i want you to start off with this one right here okay you just add it to your cart now when you're ready to check out you go to the top of the page and you can you can hit right here check out or you can view your cart to see what's in there when you view your cart like you can see right now it says twenty four dollars, but it got forty nine right there. I just want to hit that minus sign. Take one of those uh, packs of gummies away, and now I'm going to update my card. It's going to bring me to the real price because if I would have hit check out right then and there, it would have sent me two bottles of gummies. So after you update your card, you um check you know you check which shipping you want. You hit proceed to check out. You come all the way down right here, right? You choose your pay. You choose place to order. All right. 
after you place that order, it's going to bring you to where you put in your credit card information. And then you hit pay, you get an email confirmation. So if you don't know where to get started, you're in chronic pain. I'm about to tell you my start, my story before I get off. I shared a little bit of my daddy's story with you. If you're in chronic pain, man, then just know that the best way for you to get immediate relief is to begin and simply get started. I recommend those gummies on the site. Play on the site. All right. If it's something not working, guys, or you got any questions, shoot us an email at 4KingCBD at gmail.com, or you can shoot us a text message at 985-878-0082. And the reason why I say text message is you call, probably ain't going to answer it right away. You leave a voicemail, we get back to you. But if you text, somebody get back to you um, sooner. So the fastest way is either email or text if you have any questions. so. Here's my story. Let me stop this right here. Here's my story, man. I basically uh, was diagnosed with diabetes. I caught a stomach virus, Ace pylori. So whenever I would try to take, oh, I had to tear, I got to tear on my shoulder. I got to tear on my shoulder, right? So I couldn't go to the gym. And work out like I used to because I wasn't having a lot of energy and I didn't know why I didn't have a lot of energy, right? And when I was going into the gym, I didn't have good form. So eventually, I ended up hurting myself, all right? And because I hurt myself, it made it even harder to go in the gym. So now I don't have any energy. I got a messed up shoulder. I don't know what's going on with me. And... All of a sudden, I just started having like these little attacks where I couldn't breathe and my heart started racing and stuff. I started going to the doctors. And you guys know what happened when you go to the doctor, right? They start running tests. So I had a heart doctor running tests on my heart, right? Um, I had another episode. They brought me to the hospital to kept me overnight for observation. Then I got a lung doctor because it's chest pain. So it could be, you know, lung related, heart related or lung related. I was already diagnosed with diabetes. I already knew I had shoulder pain, so I got a um, I got a doctor, you know, told me that I got to tear on my shoulder. Then I got a GI. I had a colonoscopy done because my mom is a colon cancer survivor. And I had a scope done on my stomach. Colonoscopy came back normal. The scope came back unnormal, abnormal, I should say. And what they find was that I had a bacteria in my stomach called Ace pylori. So when I was I wasn't getting the proper nutrition, so I was vitamin D deficient, and and when I was trying to take pain pills and stuff, ibuprofen and stuff, Advil and all the other good stuff, but my shoulder it wasn't working because of the stomach virus. So I was forced to seek out other means, right? Uh, pain relief and that's how i discovered cbd products i worked with a lady years ago bad arthritis she used to use cbd all so i was like let me try that again not having any knowledge not knowing anything about cbd not knowing anything about the 2018 form form act a form bill not knowing you know pro, uh, products that were derived from hemp only thing I knew is that it looked like weed and it smelled like it smelled like weed right and i knew that the position that i was in in life it was going to be a stigma. But it's a blessing in disguise, guys, because sometimes when you look down on things, it's just an opportunity for you. Uh, it's just an opportunity for you to uh, learn different. And when I really started studying the cannabinoids, and like I said, I brought the all, the CBD, CBD all to try to use it because I remember her using it. It didn't work for me. And the reason it didn't work for me because I didn't know how to buy. It. I didn't know how to buy. It. I didn't know what type of cannabinoid to look for. I didn't know what type of milligram to look for. So I started figuring out other alternatives, and that's when I came. I discovered Delta Eight Flower. I started using that, and immediately I noticed the inflammation in my shoulder going down. Immediately I noticed, uh, you know, the energy. Okay, and during that process, I documented it on YouTube. You know, those of you that follow me on YouTube, you guys know I would come in, literally pull up my numbers, like my my glaucoma reader. It's Bluetooth. It logs your sugar. Literally pull up my numbers and show you guys over the months you know, uh, how my sugar was changing. So I went from being a diabetic 
to pre-diabetes, pre-diabetes, right? Being on heart medicine, kidney medicine. Uh, what else they had me? I had me on something for my heart. Had me on something for my kidneys because uh, they say that diabetes messes with your organs. I was on all kind of medicine, and of course, I was on heartburn medicine because I get heartburn really bad. Today is 8-13-2022. Guys, for the past four weeks or so, if not longer, I haven't been on any medicine. I've been on my metformin probably longer than that, but I haven't been on any medicine. Um, I had got up to 293 pounds. I'm 6'1". Well, I'm 6 feet, not 6'1". I got up to 293 pounds, okay? So even though that's that's that's... I mean, it's not a large, large frame compared to like NBA players that's like six five and seven one. But that's, I have a pretty good frame, okay, pretty tall frame, torso. So I was able to carry the weight a little bit, but it was killing me, man. So I got on these products, started started watching my numbers go down. I started getting off of medicine myself. I remember going to a doctor visit, and my doctor fussing at me. Telling me, I said I never got off the medicine. And I told them, again, guys, when I started this journey, I had to talk with my, my primary physician. Before I started the business, I had to talk with my primary, primary physician because I didn't know, bro. And she told me these words. She's like, Donald, if it's helping you, it's not going to hurt you. Like, she was like, just make sure you know what you put in your body. Don't put anything in your body. The first thing she told me was, make sure you're not out there buying synth synthetic stuff. If you're going to get it, get the real thing. And so we've been on that journey ever since. I got off my medicine. I got flushed that. But guess what she did? Took that blood from me, ran those numbers. She couldn't say nothing. She couldn't say nothing. Why? Because I wasn't showing as a diabetic. My AC1 was not showing diabetic numbers. Okay? So my thing, guys, if I go do my session. My thing, guys, is for you to educate yourself. I know that's a stigma associated with it. Being a preacher, bro, you see, when you see somebody, like, right now, somebody watching it, watching me rolling up, and they're going around and say, man, got that preacher smoking weed, right? Why? Because you got to realize that people don't have the proper information they're going to fill in the void. Now, you can't control what everybody thinks, but in my case, if you really want to help people, in my case, man, look, I live for this. I live for having... I'm not gonna say debates, but I live for having education, um, educational conversation. Let me show you guys one more thing before I leave. Show you guys one more thing before I leave, and this is gonna prove my point. And this is the argument that I I, I make. I'm gonna show you the argument that I make with with Christians. Let me reset the camera. Up. This is just just a little webcam. Let me show you the argument that I make with Christians right quick, and I'm gonna pull it up uh, because again, my heart is really towards the older people in the church. Uh, Because a lot of them, you know, as you get older, you start having like knee surgeries and, and, and you know, your rotator cups from picking up on stuff start tearing when you get older, right? So there's a lot of people in the church, man, that's on all these biker dance and perfect sets or whatever they're on to control their mind or their body. And it's literally damaging them. And I was like, hey, it's another way. Like I told you the example about my dad and myself. That's another way. This stuff works, bro. And so not only did I say that it worked, I put my money where my mouth was and I started a business because it worked. So let me come right here and let's just say, uh, and I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to share the screen. I just want to type it. Make sure this is the right website. Make sure this is the right website, all right? All right, search, man. It's not pulling up anything. I'm going to find it, guys. I'm going to find it. Hold on. I'm going to find it. Let's get in a second. But like I was saying, man, so that's that's my journey. That's how I got involved. I caught H. pylori bacteria when I was trying to take um, a stomach bacteria. I was trying to take over the kind of medicine for my shoulder with the tear on my shoulder. I'm not having surgery, man. I'm about to be 44 and a 19. I'm not about to have another surgery. I had surgery on my ear, man. This would be a 45-minute surgery. Guess what? It wound up taking about six, seven hours. So I'm not in a hurry to go underneath the knife again okay so doc can i live with it yeah you can live with it he was like we're just going to get you to do some uh physical therapy man now when i go into the gym all right when i go into the gym guys 
I'm used to bench pressing 225, just not, you know, warming up, right? You know, 315, you know what I'm saying, maxing that by five something. That's what I'm used to doing in the gym, right? Working out with 315, you know, or whatever. So, going to physical therapy, man, they're like, we're going to use weights to strengthen the muscles around your arm, right? To help that shoulder be more secure. Man, I did that for like two or three days. I stopped. Because, they, man, they had me with like a five pound weight. Like, I wasn't feeling anything. I'm like, bro, it got the only great thing about physical therapy was, um, uh, was the, uh, the massage, like when they would massage my, put the tense machine on on my shoulder. That was that, was, and the hot towel. That was one of the best things about physical therapy. All the other stuff, they could have kept that. I said all that to say this is that physical therapy didn't work for me. So that's when I tried um, hemp derived products, CBD, Delta Eight. Um, then I started learning about the other cannabinoids, THCO, HHC. It's it's not only important that you know about the cannabinoids, but you know the process and how they extract certain isolates, right? Because sometimes people use like harmful ke chemicals. This is why I say anything you buy from, from us, you're going to have access to the COAs, Certificate of Chemical Analysis, meaning that it's going to a third party lab that's going to tell you everything, every cannabinoid, the percentage and everything that it has in there. So if it was one of those shady companies, and again, you go to the gas station, you don't necessarily, I don't want to turn about underneath the window, um, you don't know necessarily what you're getting all the time, right? Because they don't have the COAs on there all the time. You don't you don't have access to their phone number and stuff all the time, all right? You might have a website and go to the website and find it. But it's important that you have access to the COAs, certificate of analysis, so you can know everything that they have in there. All right, guys. So let's see. Uh, this is up here. I got to the site. And let me go uh the statistic. Let me see. Battery, button, battery, ingestion, national car, well poison, national well poison control. Uh so let's go. Let me let me start sharing this. All right. Uh let me go back and share it. I just want to make this example, this uh quick example, right quick. Share screen. This is how. This is how I start all of my conversations off whenever I'm talking about CBD. All right, again, I'm talking about medicinal use to be able to like help people with their pain. I have two, two, I, I call them clients, but they're really like patients. Even though I'm not certified or whatever, I'm not a doctor or whatever, I'm not saying that they're my patient, but they're really like patients because whenever they're like, hey, I have this pain and that pain or whatever, two people with that had bad back surgery, right? That swear about with gummies, and they say like the stuff that they take at night that was prescribed, it was messing them up. And when they start taking the gummies, man, it was like, bro, I got one dude today, but I don't use my back medicine anymore, right? So he recommended another guy the other day. Hey, I'm not just talking about back aches. I'm talking about people that had multiple major back surgeries that swear by the product. All right, so let's go right here. This is the poison control, and this again, guys. I'm not going off the of stereotypes. I'm not going off what, you know, in the windows or how people feel. I just use facts to explain it. So I take people to the Poison Control Center, right? And you just search ibuprofen or Tylenol, all right? So I put ibuprofen, pain relief, ibuprofen, all right, aspirin and stuff like that. The known dangers and side effects, all right? The bottom line. I always like the, the bottom line, right? So it's a, um, they are steroid anti-inflammation drugs with cannabinoids and do the same thing, help you with inflammation. It's used for pain. It can help your pain. It's a treat fever and inflammation, all right? So, again, our cannabinoids can do the same thing. Now, here's the thing. They also found in combination products such as cough and cold medicine. An overdose of these medications may cause stomach upset, abdominal pain, vomiting, kidney damage, right? Ulcers, bleeding, seizures, and coma. In a coma, just from using Tylenol and and ibuprofen, Advil, the leaves. Now, one of the interesting things they said over here, they said, "Listen, ibuprofen. Um, what is this? Next, next part, next print. Well, how you pronounce pronounce that? They said that there are a nine ster sterile anti-inflammation drug, right? Uh, where is that? 
it say they are also found in con in combination products such as car and cold medicine. So it's not just taking ibuprofen and leave and all that by itself, but a lot of the same properties are found in cold medicine. Now listen, this is the thing that it said. Now it gives us the bottom line, but if you continue reading, it begin to tell you like the the adults that what the adults use it for. It tell you about the the um uh the recommended for adult um it say you know it tell you about the the, the risk like at risk heart disease um heart disease talking about why people would use aspirin why children why you give it to children all right so it tells you the reason why people use it but if you keep going down man it it it, it gives you more information like i said i like to do the bottom line that way you can see you know you can see that hey look these medications can you know help you um hurt your stomach abdominal pain or whatever whatever but in larger amounts and the reason why i say larger amounts because when you're sick what is the large amount i was literally taking four to five tylenol three to four times a day right and then when, when the tylenol wasn't working in between right i would take like a leave or something think about it when you get like the flu or you get like a cough or something like that a cold something Man, how many times you take in the combinations of drugs, right? So it's easier to overdose. It's easier to overdose. It's easier to misjudge, right? And look, you can have kidney injuries, ulcers, bleeding, seizures, and coma. And the coma. And that's over the counter medicine, guys, right? So let's come up here and let's just type in um, Delta 8. Let me see. A big fat thing is Delta 8. So I have to space that out. It's so what is Delta 8? You know, so come right here. So you got studies about Delta 8, Delta 9. Uh, it's a synthetic derived cannabinoid and causes psychoactive effects like those of Delta 9 THC. There are limited above studies of Delta 9 THCO, um, clinical effects in humans. So caution and advice in using this product. So what they're saying is that Delta 9 and THCO, now Delta 9, Delta 9 is a cannabinoid that we know as weed. So what we sell is CBD Delta 8. Well, Delta 9 is a cannabinoid that we know as weed. I tell you the whole process of how a plant goes from being being a hemp plant to a marijuana plant is all about when, whenever, whenever you harvest the plant. If you harvest a plant when they have less than 0.3% THC Delta 9, then it's considered, um, you know, it's considered to be hemp derived and legal to save. I mean, legal to sell. Anything else? You see right here, we say THC levels of less than 0.3% because it contains lower levels of THC according to the definition of hemp. Um, so that's how it's legal. Now, again, when you go down and you read everything, they tell you that the studies are limited or whatever. Man, I want to been around for thousands of years, okay? They're saying this process and how they derive the THCO. That's why I tell you guys, study, research, how they isolate that 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 particular cannabinoid? What type of chemicals they using to isolate that cam cannabinoid? Get your COAs, you know what's all in there. But when you read it, they just say, "Well, it's it's uh it's limited, right? It's limited." But wait a minute, where's the where's the uh where's all the how many people in the coma? How many people died? Or you know what illness can happen for it? I tell you, when you look up cannabinoids, man, you're going to see uh oh they still studying it or you know hey we don't have enough information you're going to see all of that man but oh, i don't want to donate man i'm sorry hit the wrong button but what you're not going to find you're not going to find where people are dying from it like you can do child cold medicine right right so that's how I saw my argument, but I, I I literally what medicine you got? We go right here, and I just look it up from. I just look them up one by one, and I go to Delta. I go to Delta Eight. Let's go to cough medicine dosing kids. All right, uh, let's go to the bottom line. There is no evidence that cough and cold medicines are safe or effective for young children. There is evidence that children have been harmed by overdosing of these products. Problems include seizures. Where we what we seeing seizures at? Coma right and death so even choosing cough syrup there's no evidence right that it helped our kids and these are the potential harmful side effects okay ivy post we're saying they say they're still studying delta 8. let's just put um 
as you see, uh, let's see, I clearly it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think of like something Pacific to put that, you know, a Pacific, I mean, a Pacific cannabinoid, it might not show up or whatever. I want to just put generalize it, um, cannabis. Anyway, let me see. I can put CBD, Delta 8. Let's see what they pull out right there. Simple conversation with people right here, man. It's bringing us back to the same thing. All right. Bringing back to the same thing. All right, let's click on the CBD product. Let's see, uh, this is what I'm looking for. So, in order to say C CBD products, do they work? One of the things, me, I'm, I'm telling you me, how I research. I look how you write stuff. Now, this is the, 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 uh, pausing control, Center for Pausing Control, all right? I watch how they write stuff. So, I seen what they wrote up about, <laughs> see what they wrote up about, uh, Tylenol, ibuprofen, right? The way they wrote it, it's like, oh, it, 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 it ain't nothing to it, right? But when you start seeing seizures and death, all right, now, when you look at the way they wrote it, it looked like, hey, it's normal. It's almost like a commercial that you watch, get your life back, a 70 or 65-year-old woman in a bikini, you know, running down the beach or something. And then when you hear, you know, <laughs> when you hear the side effects, are like, hey, by taking this, you can get brain cancer, heart cancer, liver cancer, diabetes, you know. It's one of those type of things, how they how they wrote it. But then you come right here and you look up Delta 8 or you look up CBD, they write, they to me, it's like they write it to scare you, but they never prove that it harmed anybody. Okay. And they have to admit that. And that's how I start my conversations whenever I start explaining to people. I see cold on, I put it up in there. I see cotton, I'm to say I put it up in there. Um, if you um but other opioids, you know, whatever the doctor prescribed, I put it in there and I show people the harmful side effects. Cannabinoids, you will never overdose overdose because it only impacts your indoor cannabinoid system, your CB1 and CB2 receptors, all right? Uh, it only impacts that. You can never die from this, okay? Uh, one of the studies was that you have to, you have you will have to smoke 1,500 pounds of marijuana or a thousand pounds of marijuana within 15 minutes, something like that, for it for it to be considered daily. Nobody's just doing, nobody's able to do that. It's just not physically possible uh, for you to die from it. So can you have can you can you take too much and get sick, throw up and stuff like that? Yeah, but you're not going into a coma unless you use the drug in combination with something else. You're not going into a coma by using these products, especially when you have the certificates of, of analysis and you know you know you are knowing what's in the product you're putting in your body. Remember that. Okay. So they they put do it work, but listen, they didn't put like how many people get sick or whatever. Why? Every, why why you're not you the poison for center? You you the you the center for 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 poison, you know you the whole center for poison control everything. I need information, right? Some of the people that die, some of the people that get sick, they don't have that. No, why? Because people don't die and get sick from cannabinoids. They do from all the other medicine. But they write it up like it's just look look how look 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 how they title CBD. Do the products work? Well, wait a minute, bro. You didn't ask. You didn't ask if ibuprofen work, right? But let's go back to ibuprofen. You didn't ask if ibuprofen work, huh? Right? You told us what they put it in. You didn't ask if it worked, huh? Look, look, knowing the dangers and side effects. Knowing the dangers and side effects. The title is not do it work. Why? Because they know. Let's go back to children and cold medicine, right? Bottom line, cough, cough, and cold medicine no longer recommended for children younger than four. Why? There's no evidence that cough, uh, that cough and cold medicines are safe or effective for children. There is evidence that children have been harmed by overdosing of these pro products, including seizures, coma, and death. That's children cough medicine, ibuprofen, seizures, death, coma, all right? CBD, do it work. So just, just even when you're researching, just be studious to know. Uh, and we also want to start getting some dog um, pet products uh, to help with anxiety, CBD. Just, 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 just notice the bias. So it's a bottom line. Uh, the CBD is one of the most studied compound of the cannabis plant. CBD drew attention when it was shown to stop seizures in a group of patients with a form with a form of epilepsy that does not respond to conventional therapy. Oh, look! You mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that this medicine is healing and and, and curing people? That modern medicine can't cure? 
You mean to tell me that I went from 293 pounds to 254 or 58 pounds when I when I uh, weighed myself the other day? You mean to tell me I went from being a diabetic to a pre-diabetic to not being on any medicine, from heart medicine, kidney medicine, to not being on metformin, right? You mean to tell me that even with the time I showed, I could go in the gym and get down? This stuff work? What about the conventional medicine that I was using that wasn't healing me? I never have a problem having conversations with Christians or uh, my professional colleagues about these products. Now, again, rec recreationally, I can't speak to it because I don't use it recreationally. I guess inadvertently, I use it recreationally because I keep to my four sessions. Sometimes I have five sessions. You know, if I'm just out there in the gazebo watching TV and chilling, I just want to relax or whatever. But I make sure that I keep my four sessions. Because it's just like any other medicine, you got to develop a habit in taking it. So look, man, CBD is helping diseases that nobody else knew of. So you can go into the full story and give you more information of it. There's no debate in it. The other medicine they're talking about how it's going to kick it, this medicine is telling you how it helps, right? And it's, a, it's one of the most studied of the cannabinoids. But you have more cannabinoids than that, right? Let's go and see Delta Nine. Let's go. Well, let's just let's see. If they're gonna have the 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 slang name up there. We are there different kinds of weed. All right. Uh, hallucinants that is legal to buy in some state. Teenagers have more easily access to drugs. Let me see. So they don't have. Let me go ahead and put the scientific name Delta Nine. Delta Nine is what is what we currently know as marijuana. Right. And again, we don't sell marijuana, guys. We sell Delta 8. Delta 8. We sell Delta 8. Hemp derived products. CBD, Delta 8. We sell CBD, CBD full spectrum, TACO, HHC. All of those are different cannabinoids. I showed you guys earlier. If you want to go to the website, 4Kings, the number 4, Kings, CBD.com. Kings with an S, CBD.com. Go to the website. If you don't know where to get started, you're just looking for something to sleep in pain. Um, Again, I showed you in this video, and I apologize, my mic was cutting off when I was showing you. I showed you in this video. Uh, what I recommend that you get started with first, I recommend that you get started with one of our Delta 8 gummies or our, our, our Zyda gummy, Delta 8 and um, TACO or HAC, a combination of those. I think I give you the watermelon recommendation that had 20 milligrams of, I want to say TACO and 30 milligrams of Delta 8 or it could have been the other way around. All right, so they got Delta 8. They don't have, let me see, Delta 9 up in here. Uh, do they have Delta 9 up in here? Did I hit search? I never typed it in. Delta 8. Now I'm looking for Delta 9. So I'll start right here, guys. And and look, I could do this all day. Just just looking up different cannabinoids, all right? Uh, it don't have just looking up different cannabinoids and putting in uh modern medicine and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and check, make sure we don't have any questions or nothing on Facebook. And then I'm gonna show you guys the end. That when I say the air, I'm gonna show you guys the last thing that um I like to pull up when I'm having conversation with people, okay? Okay, yeah. Nobody on nobody's on. Nobody have questions on Facebook. Uh, medical. Let's go. Let's go to medical marijuana poisoning kids. Medical. I am a medical marijuana patient in Louisiana. All right, but I got that to compare their products. Right, I got that to compare their products to our products because when we first started selling, people was like, "It's not as strong as the stuff I get on the streets and stuff." So that forced us to do our research and forced us. To compare our products to what's available out there and again i'm not against medicinal marijuana i'm not against recreational marijuana i'm just saying that um cbd delta 8 um hac tac or i'm just saying that there's other cannabinoids that can give you some of the same benefits without a high psychoactive level you know and you can still function so let's go to medical marijuana poisoning kids come right here let's go to the bottom line the bottom line just just tell you straight up to keep you from reading the whole story, you just want to get some quick information right quick. Let's say bottom bottom line, marijuana sometimes prescribed to patients and they tell you all of it. It's a, uh, it says uh, the active chemical is usually stronger than 
and the metal metal marijuana plant so what they're saying is that medical marijuana technology is such to where they can grow it in higher levels than it would grow in the in the wild you have your indoor you have your outdoor growth your indoor growth tends tends to be more expensive because they grow it under special light they grow it using a special hvac system which is an air conditioning system that pulls out the humidity humility keeps the plant at a certain level they use certain uh they, they use certain fertilizers and stuff like that it's a more controlled setting so they can grow the plants to a higher levels right outdoor you you know outdoor you grow it but the wind is blowing you you got so many var variants is that i'll grow typically the percentage is not as high as indoor and then you have like your light and you have like depth that's many many things so what it's saying is that it's stronger than the normal marijuana plant medical marijuana there are no regulations for child safe stores of medical marijuana products. Young children have been seriously poisoned by swallowing medical marijuana. Young kids have been seriously poisoned by swallowing, swallowing medical marijuana. Now, wait a minute. You said they've been poisoned, but where else do they die? Where's the coma? What's the vomiting? What's the noise? Now I can take it now. If, if if you take too much, even an adult, it could make you nauseated and stuff like that. You're gonna have to go to sleep. People people say, "Oh man, I feel like my heart rate's and now that's anxiety because what's happening is that your indoor cannabinoid system is now overloaded, and the only way you can deal with that is go to sleep at all. But you're not gonna fall into a coma. You're not gonna die, right? It's just playing on your psyche if you take if you take a product and you don't know what you're putting in your mind, but you're not gonna die for it. And again, I. I I say that I think that they're biased because when you read the other write-ups, it reads like a love story. Like nothing is wrong with these products until you get to the end and it's like, oh, you can get this and that. But when you read about Delta 8 or when you read about um, the real deal, marijuana, it's talking about kids being poisoned. Me, I want to know. I want to know more. Tell me how many kids died from it then. This, this stuff must be really, really bad, right? So you, you scroll down, you scroll down, you scroll down and it says, uh researchers in colorado right recently reported an increase in the number of children this is why i say i think that they're biased but even in their bias they're still telling the truth right they can't put the numbers that don't exist there but they the, the way that they're writing it to me is the is to again they're writing with a negative connotation compared to what all the other stuff you read so let's keep reading brought to the emergency room after swallowing swallowing medical marijuana products the children range in age from as young as eight to twelve most of the children eight medical marijuana cakes cookies and candies again edibles is always stronger always stronger guys that's why i tell you be careful with the gummies be careful with the edibles is always stronger that belong to their grandparents uh parents and again most a lot of our cousins are, are older people because it really helped them uh bring their body into home homeostasis um uh, you know help them especially older women help them with menopause and stuff like that with sweating and stuff like that so we have a lot of older and then as you get older in life you have more surgeries and so you know when the weather changes and stuff like that you have more issues so we have a lot of older people so the most common sy symptoms now here's the most common symptoms the, i know you can see it, but i'm gonna tell you the most common symptoms were excessive sleepiness dizziness and trouble walking however a fruit became too sleepy and their breathing slowed down that could mean the child doesn't get enough oxygen. Fortunately, none of these kids died. They all recovered without permanent health issues. Y'all see how scary that read? But what's the bottom line? The bottom line, you're saying, well, even if a even if a kid in just two months that's meant for the an adult, the side effects is sleepiness, dizziness. Now you get dizzy, you lose input. Um, you equilibrium, you can get nausea, you can throw up or whatever. But what I told you, the best way is just to sleep it off. You're not gonna die. Why they didn't write the cold medicine the same way they wrote this? But I go here and I show I showed them this, right? I go here and I show I showed them this. Right? I showed them that when we start the argument, I just be plugging in medicine, plugging in medicine. And no matter what I pull up, whether it's Delta 8 or whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter what I pull up. What's up, Josie? Yo, man, how you doing? I'm sorry, I wasn't able to see the chat. No matter what I pull up, man, they can't they can't beat me in the argument. So I have my personal testimony, right? The personal things that I've been going through and how it's been how it's been helping me, okay? And now 
and I have all of the scientific evidence, right? I go right to the center, partner control, and I, I start researching medicine. What medicine is going to be best for me? I want to make sure I'm putting the best thing in my body. You mean to tell me? <laughs> you mean to tell me the CBD, the flour, and all of that? I can put this in my body, and it's better than ibuprofen? It's better than Advil? So I said, man, you're tripping, bro. You're just trying to justify using it, right? You, you're tripping. You, you try to go back to your old days and justify using, right? Again, hemp-derived products is legal. It's a difference between marijuana and hemp-derived products. Everybody know that. That's why I'm here, to educate you. But again, you, you, in my mind, you're tripping. So guess what? My wife is a nurse. And I have, like, man, like, we kind of fell out of touch. But, like, she's like my sister, man, like my younger sister, like this. Nurse practitioner and her practice in Phoenix, Arizona, and she do ketamine. Okay, she helped pay people with chronic illness. She's also going back to school to get her psychology degree to help people with mental illness. So I talked to her and I began to explain my symptoms and what what I started using. And she explained to me how CBD works, how it brings your body into balance. And she explained to me why my diabetes number was going down, why I was getting more energy. Right, and she began to explain this. I like stop. I'm bringing you on the show. So I brought her on the show. She did a whole show telling us about the benefits of Delta 8 CBD. She told us the difference between that and the opioid, the dangers of opioids. Now, this is a nurse practitioner saying this, all right? Not me. I just knew that something was going on in my body. I was getting better. I didn't know why I was getting better or whatever. She broke it down to me. And on top of that, we just had her on the show two days ago. So after this live, go to my um, site, pick up my video, pull up my videos. It's going to be a live. Pick it up, Nicole, um, Nicole Smith. We talked. We talked about mental illness. Uh, we didn't talk about CBD or anything. We talked about mental illness. That was a good show. So the last thing I want to show you is that so I show you whenever I'm dealing with people, especially church people, older people. I just pull up their medicine and I show them all the harm and all the danger. I show show them the you know the effects that happen to kids whenever they take children cold medicine. Potentially, what happens if they take too much? They can die. Then what happens if they take too much? Not CBD, no. Not CBD. What happened? They take too much TAC9. I mean, TAC Delta 9. Weed. Medical grade. The highest grade stuff. What happened if a kid get into that and take that by mistake? They get sick. They get they get sleepy. They get dizzy. Thank God nobody died. Nobody never died in the history of 2,000 years plus using this plant. So, uh, let me go ahead and pull up. So, that's what I do with the medicine. Uh, that's what I do with the with the medicine, man. I just pull up all the medicine that they on. And I just compare it one by one, and it's the it's the center for uh it's it's um the poison control center, the poison control center, man. So um, uh, let me see. Uh, let me pull it out right quick. I'm gonna pull this up right quick. I'm gonna show you guys the next thing I do to. And again, bro, I love having these debates, right? Because let me see, where is that? Uh, it's an easy conversation, man, to have whenever you pull up facts and you're not pulling up fiction. All right, you're not putting a fiction, bro. So, uh, let me see the revelation. I put up all of their medicine. I show them the 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 potential harm harmful side effects of their medicine. Okay, and then I pull up exactly um I pull up exactly what we sell. And the argument over. Can't die from our stuff. You ain't putting no coma from our, from our stuff. Your kidneys ain't getting messed up from our stuff, all right? I'm trying to find the Bible verse right here, guys. Let me uh pull it up on my phone. It's not putting up on my computer for some reason. I want to open up my sword, uh, my my sword app. My my e-sword is my Bible on my computer. Cause I don't know if it's gonna mess it up, you know, by pulling those extra resources. Uh let me see where it's at. I could just pull it up in my uh on my phone and then look it up on the computer. Make sure I'm looking it up away. Uh oh, I gotta put in. I gotta put the book. So we gonna 
see how I may uh the comparison. All right. Well, that's not the scripture, man. Where is that? It keep, we keep bringing me there, but that's not the right scripture, guys. And I apologize, man. I should have had this together from the beginning. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. It was bringing me there, guys. For some reason, I just was overlooking it. I probably need to be sleeping right now, too. Uh, you know that I stayed up. Where is that? Uh, Revelation 23. Let me share the screen so you don't take my word for it. Let me share the screen. Guys, if you don't share this whole video, at least share this part right here. This part right here. I'm just showing you guys how we educate the community. I'm showing you guys that you know that our products are safe. I'm showing you guys uh, that you can change your life. So this revelation. So the first thing I do whenever I'm talking to my colleagues, which are you know professionals, are Christians, pastors most of the time, right? Uh, even my pastor I had to convince them using these same methods. Pull up his medicine, so high it's harming his body. So you can't give me that scripture about not defiling your temple. Because when you take Tylenol and the method for pain relief and how often you got to take it, you, you defile on your temple. Can't tell me to be a sober mind because when you take oxycodone, bro, it blocks those receptors, right? Those pain receptors. And you're like, oh, those people are high. Well, then, so you're against medicine? If they're taking CBD products to block the same receptors, that the doctor giving them opioids. You said be a sober mind, right? Right? You said be a sober mind, right? What's the difference? So, so a person logical like me, I said, we're faced with, we're faced with the lesser evil. So one or two things, either I got to take something for pain, or God, you got to heal me right now and remove it. Now, if God don't heal you, that means you're not saved. Right? Apostle Paul said that's the thorn on his side. God not gonna remove everything from you. That's why I got a lot of Christians on pain pill because they didn't have so many surgeries. Knee surgeries, back surgeries, shoulder surgeries, right? Popping them oxycodone, you know, popping those uh opioids, right? So if you tell me be a sober mind, I would say, well, you had surgery, they give you they give you medicine, you're not sober right then and there. So and, What's the lesser two evils? This right here is hurting your body to block the pain. Well, you can block the pain with this right here, and it's not going to have the negative impact on your body. So we start, we start having that conversation. I go to the Bible. Bible, Revelation 22. And I'm going to start at the beginning. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, following, following I mean, flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb. So there's a river flowing. From the throne of God and the Lamb. The Lamb, as we know, is Christ, right? Down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life. So on each side of the river, there's trees. Bear a tree of life, bearing 12 crops. Yielding fruit. So 12 different crops, yielding fruits every month. So every month, the tree is bearing 12 different crops. And then it says this. Now, if you're not a Christian, our Mecca, for lack of a better terminology, is the New Jerusalem. We believe that Christ is like, like the New Jerusalem, where you go, you die. We believe when Christ coming back, you say, I saw a new heaven. You know, I saw a new earth and I saw a new, new heaven. And, and then, I mean, I saw a new city and I saw a new earth, a new heaven or whatever. It's coming down, all right, a dawn as a bride for her groom. So. Christians believe that the new Jerusalem is going to come down and Christ is going to reign on earth. The earth is going to be purged. So in Revelation is telling us that in here, the city, it say the throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city and his servants will serve him. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I went too far. I said bearing 12 uh, crops of fruit, yielding each fruit every month. Now here's the second part. And this would, uh, this were we engage each other. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nation. No longer will there be any curse. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me that if the Mecca 
for Christians is the New Jerusalem. Revelation 22 and 12 telling us that, that, that the leaves is going to be healing. Even in the New Jerusalem, that's medicine. The leaves are going to be healing for the land. So now we go back to it's medicine good. If you interpret Revelation 22 the same way that and some people might not, but the same way that I interpret it, then medicine is good. And so if medicine is good for our body to help disease, right? Then now we just got to choose which medicine to use, right? Based on biblical principles of not defiling our temple. So if medicine is to be used to help my body, right? And I know I have to be of a sober mind and not defile my temple. What is the less of the two evils, right? Ibuprofen, Oxycontin, Percocets, Lower Tab, when, when you can't sleep or whatever. No, man. Cannabinoids. You have different cannabinoids. You, we go around here with this one stigma, stigma, but look at all the products we have, guys. You don't have to smoke the flower. You don't have to get the pre-rolls. You don't even have to get the vapes. You can take the gummies. You can get the capsules. The soft capsules, 25 milligrams CBD, the soft gel capsules. You can get the bath bombs and roll. I mean, the, the bath. You can get the um the, the ointments, the bombs and roll, rub on your soul joints and stuff. I told you guys, get the, start off with the gummies. The watermelon, I think, were the ones I recommended. You come right here. Go all the way down to choose an option. If you want to get started with our products, this is one of my recommendations. Come down here, go to the watermelon, 20 milligram TACO and 30 milligram Delta 8. Order that, guys. When you get that, start off taking a half or even cut it in three. Cut it in three. Start off taking a piece, wait 45 minutes. It can take up to four hours to work depending on your digestive system. Everybody's digestive system is different. That's why I say uh, a little bit goes the whole way when you start now. Guys, look, I'm going to keep on educating you. We're going to have many, many more lives. But a lot of you is like, man, how to get to the website? I'm putting www. Dot. Don't put the www. Dot. Just put four, four, numeric number four, kings, A I N G S, all lowercase, right? CBD.com. It's going to bring you here, verify your age, and you're good to go. Hey, man, look, it's been a long day. It's been a long week, but we're alive. I'm going to continue to um, educate you because I want you to be healthy as I'm, as I'm getting, I ain't going to say getting back on my healthy journey because my illness kind of threw me off track. So I'm going to say not getting back on my healthy journey as I continue. And as I always say, the struggle continues. Check out the uh, website, guys. Many, many products up there to help you get your life back. Anything from, uh, like I say, high flashes, um, not being able to sleep pain relief i just proved to you biblically where it fits and i proved to you medically and scientifically where it fits now we're on with this information you got to do like i did make a choice that's best for you me i couldn't be worried at first i was when that pain hits you enough and you're not functioning in society enough and you're depressed right because you can't move you can't you can't do this you can't do that it, it what people think become a different when people going on with their lives and you in the bed. So it was a stigma starting all, bro. But I was like, man, I care less what people think because it's working. Right? When it started working, I even took it a step forward. Not only do I care less what people think, I'm going to re-educate them as I educated myself. And the thing that blew me away is none of this information is hard to find. Oh, if we're wrong about this in life, what else is we wrong about in life? What can you see with D, guys? Um, go ahead, guys. Many, 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 many more videos coming to you. Be blessed.